Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Y'all, I have made it to the Essence Festival, but not on my behalf or on Raya Safari's behalf. I am here to support my old housemate, Bree, and her company, Imani Cowrie. Oh, my goodness. So, if you know me, you know me. Me and Bree were roommates psh, about seven or eight years ago when we were both stationed in Montana. She is a veteran in the United States Air Force. Um, but she got out of the military and she went full force with her business. All right, this booth right here is Sultry Scents. Um, Bree and that young lady right there met about a year ago. And it's been their dream to come back to Essence Fest and actually set up a booth. And I'm so proud of both of them because they did just that. Sultry Scents, she has all the butters you need, baby, okay? She even has candles and a, a lotion bar. I've never seen or heard of a lotion bar. But if you're dry and ashy, you may want to go to SultrySense.com and pick yourself up some stuff don't you worry i'm gonna leave um both of their handles down below in the description box but yes ma'am back to my friend my old housemate brie and her business she makes 3d printed earrings y'all you heard me 3d printed how advanced is that i bet you ain't never heard of nobody making no 3d printed earrings y'all they're super lightweight for for those women and men who have like tiny earlobes, who doesn't want their ear hole or their earlobes to droop down, it's it's amazing. And you still get the look of a big hoop. Now, they are a statement piece. You hear me? People will ask you, where did you get these earrings from? They were asking me this entire weekend. Um, so this is, I believe, day one of the Essence Festival. And I believe this may have been Saturday. Friday was a good day. It was definitely slower, but Saturday, baby, things started picking up. It was people everywhere. I did not get the chance to come back on Sunday. However, Sunday was the last day, and I know it was the bumping. And that's because, you know, it's the last day of Essence Fest. People are trying to pick up everything that they saw that they didn't get the Friday and Saturday. And because typically there may be some deals. You didn't hear from me, but there will be some deals that the vendors are offering. Now, baby, this girl, she was fly, okay? I was walking up to her, but then somebody walked up to her for an interview. But I was like, I'm going to stand right here and have her come to Imani Kari, baby, and get her some earrings because look at her. She just looks like a statement piece herself. Everybody here was so nice. It was like black excellence everywhere. All anybody and everybody wants you to do is succeed. And they want to know about your product. They want to know, like, what is this? What do you have going on here? And, baby, we was there to tell them, okay? Um, we did not necessarily have the opportunity to fully immerse ourselves in the Essence Festival as, uh, as patrons. But being on this side of the Essence Festival, like a part of the setup, the breakdown and everything. It was it was an experience and I'm so honored that Bree asked me to come and help. This was so much fun. Now baby, I was tired the whole weekend, but just the energy, just the vibes were was all I needed. Baby, do you see how beautiful these people are? Come on now, come on, come on, come on somebody. Now, I did hear that they was giving out a lot of free stuff down at Target and Disneyland because they had the little area. I don't know what was in their bags, but that little black girl magic bag she had was free from McDonald's. Ladies, how are we doing at our first Essence Fest? Our first Essence experience. Oh, my gosh. Who do we have? We have Sultry Scents. We have Bree. We have Imani Kauri. I was telling you. 
customers. I was like breaking it down for them. I was like, yeah, we're stepping out on faith, girl. Listen, and I just realized we never. My girl was on the news. She was on the news. And it was so crazy because we had set, we had got the little card and we was like, okay, yeah, we'll watch the news. Like we were actually planning on watching the news that night. But y'all, we was here at Essence so late and then we went to go get food that we completely forgot all about this interview that Bree did. But y'all, they came up and they were so sweet and they were just like, you know, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your business. What makes Imani Kauri Imani Kauri? And baby, getting sales left and right because people watch the news. Y'all better watch the news. Y'all know what type of good information they bring. Now, this lady, she was like, she's going to put on these earrings right here, right now. And they absolutely looked good on her. You see that color? Those are like the rose, that was like the rose gold. And she had on some pants exactly the same color. Now, these groups of ladies, they made a beeline for us. We saw them coming in hot. And these women, they saw her on the news, y'all. She was there. They came in like, yep, we saw y'all on the news. We know exactly what you want. We want, we want the ones you had on yesterday and X, Y, Z. It was amazing. Now, y'all. I had to put this woman up here because you see these two ladies. The girl in the black is the daughter. The one who's wearing the earrings is the mama. Couldn't believe it. Thought they was lying to me, but they weren't. Um, Brie has been selling and making earrings since she was a student at Howard University. Okay. I don't hold it against her that she didn't go to Tuskegee, but she went to Howard. So I accept that. She's been making earrings since Howard University. Now, not 3D printed, but literally hand making her jewelry. She was slinging it out of the trunk of her car. And to see her at Essence and to see what she's done. So, like, just to know her story, it's, it's amazing to see. Like, she's actually bringing this stuff to life. I'm so proud of her for Most getting out of the Most people start out and say, I want to be a this, but I'm going to get that you know. to make sure I have something to fall back on. Uh, and what you're doing is you're setting dreams. yourself up for failure because you're going, there's a possibility now, that I'm right going to fall here, back. And when you put that out there, is then you fall you back. If you just say, hey, this is what I want to do, you go do it. I know it's kind of skewed because of I've like got the joke I want smoke 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 thoughts in my head I can't cope cope this cope. Video was for this turned, dream this we gon' fight promise we will be all right out of sight out of mind I just go 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 I and I ain't got no plan B do you understand me ain't got no plan B do you understand ain't got no plan